interior pre-trip inspection. First, I'm going to check my emergency equipment. I have three red reflective triangles. My fire extinguisher is properly charged and rated. The first aid kit is not present on this bus. I have spare fuses. My seat belt is securely mounted, adjust and latches properly with no rips or frays. I will check the rest of my seat belts the same way. I will now perform my safe start. Making sure my bus is in park, I turn my key one click forward, waiting for my ABS light to come on and go off. I will now start my bus. This completes my safe start. My heaters work properly. My defrost works properly. My student crossing mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. My traffic mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. My student mirror is clean and properly adjusted. My windshield is clean with no illegal stickers, no obstructions or damage to the glass. My wipers, arms and blades are secure, not damaged and operate smoothly with fluid. My horn works properly. I will now turn on my master flasher and my headlights. I will now perform my indicator light check. My alternating flashing amber warning indicator lights work properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My alternating flashing red warning indicator lights work properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My stop sign arm is operating properly. Securely mounted to the frame, has no loose fittings or damage. The lights are clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. My student crossing arm is operating properly. My service door operates properly from the inside, closing securely. My step well light is clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. My handrails are secure. My stairwell is clear. My stairwell treads are not loose or excessively worn. My left turn signal indicator light works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My right turn signal indicator light works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My four-way flasher indicator lights work properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My high beam indicator light works properly on the dashboard. My brake light indicator light works properly on the monitor. My tail light indicator light works properly on the monitor. My backing indicator light works properly on the monitor. Now I'm going to check my gauges. My oil pressure gauge is functional. The pressure is normal with no warning light. My temperature gauge is functional, climbing to a normal operating range with no temperature light. My voltmeter shows the alternator is charging with no warning light. I will now perform my hydraulic brake test. Pumping my pedal three times one, two, three, holding it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. My pedal didn't move. My hydraulic brake pressure is good. I will now perform my service brake test. Putting my bus in drive, releasing my parking brake, let my bus coast up to five miles per hour coming to a complete stop making sure my bus doesn't pull to the right or left and stops correctly my service brakes works properly i will now perform my parking brake test making sure my parking brake is on i put my bus in drive i rev it up to 1000 rpms my bus did not move my parking brakes work properly. I will now turn off my headlight, my master flasher, turn my key backwards 
and disarm my student alarm. I will now perform my auxiliary brake test. Turning my key to the off position, applying my foot on the brake pedal, listening for my system motor, and I heard it, so my auxiliary backup system is functional. Key one click backwards and continue with my interior pre-trip. Student seat belt is securely mounted, adjusts and latches properly with no rips or frays. I will check the rest of my seat belts the same way. My seat frame is firmly attached to the floor with no damage. My seat cushions are securely attached to the frame with no damage. I will check the rest of my seats the same way. Emergency exits. My emergency exit window is not damaged, operates smoothly with the functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit window is not damaged, operates smoothly with the functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit door is not damaged, operates smoothly with the functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit hatch is not damaged, operate smoothly with a functional warning device and close it securely. My emergency exit hatch is not damaged, operate smoothly with a functional warning device and close it securely. This completes my interior pre-trip inspection. The service door can also be used as an emergency exit. 